fall, which means football, which means I'm going to be making football banana bread and I have lots of time to practice because I got cut from the cheer team. Ready? Okay. All right, for this recipe, you're gonna need three bowls. You're gonna need a big bowl, a medium bowl, and a small bowl. And to remember that, you can just think of the three bears. Papa bowl, mama bowl, and baby bowl. Now I've frozen these bananas. They're old bananas that were all brown and black and gross. I hate eating bananas like that. So I froze them and then I took them out and thawed them and I've squeezed them. I call them poopy bananas because I've squeezed them into this bowl here, the medium sized bowl, the mama bowl. And uh, I'm gonna start mashing them up and they get all gross and disgusting. Six bananas in the bowl, along with two teaspoons of baking soda. And you just mix it up. We've got my Hamilton Beach six speed burst mixer and we are going to beat the living daylight out of four eggs. We've got the eggs beaten so they're like foamy and fluffy. That's what you want. All right, this is my favorite part because it consists of butter, which is like, seriously, butter's one of my favorite pastimes other than cheering, of course. And to that butter, you're gonna add two cups of brown sugar. Now you can also use brown sugar Splenda if you like, but this is the real deal for us football fans. Now we're gonna add the eggs. You're gonna add half the egg, and then you're gonna mix. Then you're gonna add the other half the egg, and mix. Then you're gonna add the banana. This is the key ingredient. Mix it up. Okay, so this is where it all comes together. It's very, very exciting. You're gonna add one and a half cups of whole wheat flour. And here's my special secret that I do to make it a little more healthy, a cup of flaxseed, ground flaxseed, and then you're gonna half a cup of wheat bran. You're gonna add half a teaspoon of salt, or as I did, two quarters of a teaspoon because I didn't have half one to measure with. Now you're gonna need three teaspoons of baking powder. That's because you want it to rise. Here's the question, is it baking powder or baking soda that if you mix it with vinegar, it goes boom? Hut, hut! All right, we have here this handy dandy football baking pan. And spray that thing really good because you don't want it to stick. So here we have it, your finished, well it's not your finished product, but you know what I mean, your finished mixed up product, ready to go in the oven product. And we're gonna put it in the football. Now if you like to lick the pan, which I do, I have a bit of a problem with that. Now's the time to do it. So we're gonna smear it around, make it all flat and purty, because you want it to bake evenly, of course. Once it's all smooth, then you're just gonna pop it in a 350 degree oven for an hour, hour and 10 minutes, depends on your oven. Just make sure that a toothpick comes out clean. Ta-da! We have a finished product here, and it's cooled and ready to be frosted with the cream cheese frosting. You can use store-bought frosting if you want, but I always make my own. So I pre-made some frosting last night with a little bit of icing sugar, some butter, some cream cheese, a little bit of cream, and some vanilla. When I was growing up as a kid, my mom used to make frosting from scratch all the time. So she got me addicted to it. So I, I'm obsessed with frosting. The more, the better. When I get a piece of cake, it's always a corner piece. Frosting. So unless you're part of the 19 kids and counting family, the Duggars, you're not gonna need this giant loaf. So you can just make half of this loaf, just half the recipe, and put it in a regular loaf pan. It's quite delightful. 